Hi guys, my name is Jenna. Thank you for joining me at A Fruitful Love. And today this video is about the low histamine diet and how it has impacted my life and how it might be able to impact yours in a beneficial way if you suffer from any food intolerances and especially wheat allergies, including celiac disease. All right, so let's describe what histamine is before we get into the diet. Histamine is a compound found in all food. It's part of the makeup of stomach acid. Um, you might have heard of the term antihistamine before because that's what Tylenol and Advil work as in the body. They suppress this chemical called histamine, which again is natural and it's in the body for a reason. A histamine diet is for someone who has a histamine intolerance, which means for some reason their body does not respond well to high levels of histamine and it causes an inflammatory reaction which is sustained and it doesn't dissipate quick enough, leaving the person feeling uncomfortable and with the symptoms of inflammation, which can include headaches, feeling bloated, feeling tired, feeling anxiety even, and stress. Um, it could be food related. Not all mental disorders are purely in the mind. Also, uh, there's a whole other host of symptoms like over being overheated, and some other symptoms of the histamine intolerance include irregular menstruation, abdominal cramps, um, digestive issues, hives, nausea and vomiting, also um, nasal congestion or sinus congestion, <clears throat> as well as tissue swelling. You can feel this in your body when your body is just too dilated, which is a symptom I experience, and it's very uncomfortable. Um, also, hypertension, also known as high blood pressure, dizziness, and difficulty regulating body temperature. So those are most of the symptoms of histamine intolerance. Now, what causes this to happen? Um, where the body produces too much histamine and it doesn't know how to process all of it. It could be from four things. Well, the main root issue is the digestive tract is for some reason impaired, meaning it doesn't have the enzymes to break down histamine um, or it has also, bacterial overgrowth is another contributing factor for developing histamine intolerance because certain bacteria grows when food is not digested properly, and this can cause histamine overproduction as well as a lot of other hormonal imbalances in the body. So taking probiotics, I think, is also a way to balance the gut flora, and that has been benefiting me recently. So what are my exact symptoms of a histamine intolerance? Well, like I said, I feel like I have hypertension, like I can feel it in my blood vessels, like I'm for some reason just like feels like my blood vessels are too dilated and it feels like they're tense and it's hard for me to feel relaxed because of that, which also develops into anxiety. And that has been a really huge challenge in understanding that it's food related. It seems really challenging because now I have to take out even more from my diet than I was before. But in the end, it actually made life so much easier for me to discover this because now I know, now I know what it is that has been causing me to feel less than amazing. And now I can actually take action and adjust what I'm doing so I can feel my best. <laughs> so also my, my other histamine um, intolerance symptoms are irregular menstrual cycle. It's very common for me to skip cycles once or even twice in a row. Um, I don't really ever get headaches, but I've had digestive issues for a long time as well. Even when I was raw vegan, even when I was eat, eating just like a whole food plant-based diet, eating the best diet that I know of, I was still experiencing 
bloating or just digestive issues, um, wanting to overeat because I felt like I wasn't getting what my body needed from what I was eating. Man, digestive issues uh, was another huge one for me. And those are, those are the main ones for me. So what I'm hoping to do in the next 10 days is to eat super, super, super low histamine. And I'm going to put up on the screen exactly what I can't eat for the next 10 days so you guys have an understanding of how it is that I'm going to be preparing my meals. Um, so yes, for the next 10 days, I'm going to be eating low histamine. I'm going to film what I'm eating. Maybe not every recipe exactly, but I'll show you guys what I'm eating and show you that while it may be limited, it can still be very enjoyable and very diverse as well. So here is again what I cannot eat and another list of what I can eat for the next 10 days. And I'm going to be stopping on day 3 and day 7 and then day 10 to tell you guys how I'm feeling and checking in with my body. So for day 1, let's get started. Okay, day 1, low histamine diet, plant-based, 100%, and here is breakfast. dinner time day number three I have some black cherries here honestly I just plated them because it looks nice but I already had some so I probably had about this many on my way home from work today and I might have a little something else I feel like my body's craving more vegetables now um, I like to eat soft fruits before I eat heartier meals so that food combination should digest well. Okay, so day three low histamine, like I said, and how am I feeling? Well, I've done low histamine diets for several days at a time 
previously. Uh, maybe three, four days max, and then I would go sneak a little banana in my smoothie or eat a little bit of nuts or something like that. And then once I knew it, I was going back to eating higher histamine than I really wanted to be. Oh, that look at the full moon right there. It looks so beautiful. And so, so like I said, I've done it for like three days at a time. And every time I do that, I feel really good. So I'm feeling really good. I've been eating a lot of raw food, staying really hydrated, and just getting a lot of antioxidants in my body, a lot of um, beautiful colors. So that alone is awesome, giving me a lot of energy. And um, as for do I feel different than I did three days ago? Yes, my digestion is 100% better, definitely. Like, I went poop several times today, and I didn't even expect that to happen. Like, everything is just moving really well. Again, I'm really hydrated, and um, I'm not getting bloated, and I'm not feeling irritable after eating, which is really good. <laughs> Um, I feel less hot, like my body temperature feels more cool, it feels more regulated. Um, there have been times in my life after eating where I just like get so flushed in my face and so overheated and so uncomfortable and irritable and frustrated and eating low histamine really takes that away and I have um, I've correlated it several times every time I eat this way that happens so feeling emotionally better as well feeling more stable and mentally clear and just overall more relaxed and more calm which is super helpful because I'm interacting with people all day and I really don't need any anxiety <laughs> who does so I'm going to upload this video as it is, and then I'm going to make a second video filming the rest of the week. Um, I'm not going to film every single meal that I eat like I did for these first three days, but I am going to show you guys more like more like recipes, like I'm going to make a quinoa salad, um, and I just want to show more like actual recipes that are a little bit more complex and take more time to prepare just to give you guys more recipe ideas and inspiration and if you are eating low histamine maybe to inspire you to become more creative with your meals because we're limited to so only like such a few amount of food groups that getting creative is really important to maintain this diet and to actually feel satiated and and satisfied after eating. Um, I haven't had any problem with feeling satisfied uh, or feeling not satisfied the past few days because I really enjoy eating simply. My body really enjoys eating simple foods. I love eating raw food. I love eating simple food combinations. And the longer that I have been vegan, I enjoy foods in their more natural, pure state, and I really enjoy their tastes more. It's so cool. I'm sure that also goes with um, getting older, how my taste buds are changing and everything like that. So yeah, I hope that this video provided some solid information for you in your healing journey. And if you um, like this video, please give it a thumbs up and um, let me know what you think and if you have any questions. Um, and again, stay tuned for part two of the 10 day low histamine diet. Uh, experiment that I am embarking upon and uh, I send you all my love and all my support wherever you are on your journey and I hope that you are doing well and I hope that you're taking care of yourself and just know that wherever you're going through you can heal I'm a firm believer that every ailment is curable um, with a positive mindset an open mind and a willingness to adapt to one's lifestyle. So let's just revel in the gifts of the earth that are so plentiful. Um, I'm so grateful it's summer right now with all these summer fruits. It's making this incredibly easy and um, yeah, life is good. Happy full moon. <laughs>